welcome back to the FHCAM annual inspection series. Today we're covering the engine section of the FG1D Corsair. During the engine inspection, there are many systems that are covered, not just the engine itself, but also all the adjacent systems, all the accessories, and including reservoirs, basically everything from the firewall forward. The main points to the engine inspection are to check the engine's health, and there's a couple really key and major ways that we do that. One of them is a compression check of all the cylinders. We visually inspect all the cylinders, but also we test how much pressure that cylinder uh, can withstand without letting air escape in one place or another to indicate that there might be an issue with each specific cylinder, of which there are 18 on this R2800 engine. The second thing that is major that we check is the oil filter. And we'll be checking the, the Kino oil filter, or an oil screen as we call it. And what that does is, is captures all of the engine oil that is circulated through the oil system goes through the Kuno screen. And any, uh, any particles, chunks of metal, slight pieces of metal, just any finite bit of anything, rag, gasket material, or, or carbon buildup in the engine will pass through this filter and it'll indicate to you how the engine's health is doing. It's kind of like it's heart checkup, so to speak. So. In just a minute here, we'll do uh, an example of both. We'll do an engine cylinder compression check, and then we'll have a look at the Kuno oil screen. So here we go. What the guys are doing now is finding the top dead center of this particular cylinder that they're testing. What that means is the piston stroke is at the very top of its travel, and that's where you want to check the compression. You can see that there's two gauges there, and what Greg's gonna do is put 80 PSI of pressure into one side, and the other gauge, the other side, will tell you how much pressure the cylinder is holding. Seventy-six over eighty. So if you can see the gauges, you see the needles are really close. Greg's indicating we have a seventy-six over eighty engine compression. That's a good. That's a good compression test result. So what they do next is relieve the pressure, and move on to the next cylinder. The reason that Chris over here has to hold the propeller is when you put 80 PSI into the cylinder, if you don't have the piston on top dead center of its stroke, that air will try and push the propeller one direction or another. And with an engine this big, with those that size cylinders and a propeller that long, that gets to be quite a lot of pressure. So uh, if things aren't quite perfect, then suddenly Chris will have the fun job and try and hang on to that giant propeller. Here they're finding top center of the next cylinder in line. That just passed. Pressure's coming up. Communication between Greg and Chris is key to safety in this situation. 79 over 80. And as Greg indicated, we've got 79 over 80. It's a near perfect cylinder. Next, we'll move on to the, to the Kino screen. As we look underneath the engine for inspection, there's a few important things here to look at and open up. One is the fuel strainer. There's two of those. There's one here on the firewall and one on the carburetor. And then as we look straight up here, this port right here is our pre-oil port. And that's where we pre-oil pre the engine through if it's been sitting a long time. Additionally, inside of there is the Kuno oil filter. In just a minute, we'll be taking that out and inspecting it. The oil is the lifeblood of the engine. And so what that filter is going to tell us is 
how's the health of our engine? How, how is everything doing inside? So we're gonna be looking for metal and other sorts of deposits inside the Kino oil filter. And uh, we'll get there next and we'll see how the old girl's doing. So as you can see, Chris Wood is under here uh, trying to get the main oil screen out. And uh, it's not a clean job. He's got oil running down his arms and that's kind of normal. This is the same area we uh, pointed out uh, that has the pre-oil line uh, hooked to it. So he's got the pre-oil line disconnected and uh, getting ready to drop the main oil screen out now. And we'll have a look and see how, how clean that how clean it does look. During engine runs and, and break-ins, this screen is checked when the oil is hot and it gets a lot less comfortable. Uh, this engine is under annual inspection and uh, is not warm, so it's, it's less daunting, I guess, with the oil cool. Just gonna let the oil drain a little bit. As you could imagine, uh, with uh, several gallons of oil in the system, uh, there's there's a handful of gallons, three or four gallons that sits in the case right here where the main oil screen is. And so once that drains out, then you're able to drop the drop it down and inspect it. So here comes the screen. There are different types of, of main oil screens and uh, there's the wafer type and then there's just the screen type. And as you can see, what we have here is just the screen type. So upon initial inspection, it looks really clean. A little bit of rag lint from my rag and uh, nothing major in there. So it looks good. It looks like she's healthy, ready to go for another year. What we'll do next is wash the screen and filter it through paint filters to capture any kind of uh, contamination or particulates that I was mentioning earlier. And so we'll do that now and then we'll look at the uh, test results. So another really easy inspection uh, that you don't do just during annual inspections, but actually every time you fly the aircraft is to just look at the exhaust pipes. And here we have a, a group of three. The cylinders all collect and exit into, or I'm sorry, excuse me, out of six different points. Three of them are on this side. And as you can see here, these are kind of nice and tan uh, and clean. So that's a good indication of the engine's health. If those pipes were to be oily and wet and black, uh, that would indicate that uh, maybe you have some things going on that you should look into, uh, and it could be a number of different things. So um, again, this engine's looking really good. Okay, so now that the guys have washed the main oil screen out and filtered it through these paint filters, we'll go ahead and have a look. And as you can see in here, uh, it seems to be kind of a lot of uh, maybe dirt and grit, a little bit of carbon, some rag lint, uh, but none of it's really sparkly under the light. That, that indicates to me that there's not any metal, uh, which would be a bad thing to find in the oil screen. Uh, that's always a, a bad indication when you have metal. It means something inside the engine is wearing or coming apart. Um, but this all looked really good. So. Uh, we've gone through the, the several checks that indicate good engine health, and uh, we'll be moving on. So thanks for joining the engine inspection portion of the annual inspection series, and we'll see you next time.